point? I think there's always uh, a balance that, that uh, a country, especially the United States, which is the only country in the world that uh, can essentially referee and has uh, leadership responsibilities, not that we should be the world's policemen or impose our will, and we've learned the hard way when we try to do that, but um, uh, we have to be connected to the world because if for no other reason, it's clearly in our self-interest. Uh, economic prosperity uh, is anchored by stability and security. And without stability and security, there's no confidence in markets, there's uh, no investment, and you, you know how that flows. So uh, our role is, uh, and must always be predicated, of course, on our own interests, which every nation responds that way, but also, I think, on the larger <clears throat> scope of our what we see as our responsibilities, and I think this presidential election and this, uh, this current political environment uh, is going to, I hope, over the next six months, really start focusing on that because we haven't had a, a real strong, intense national debate about how much does America want to invest around the world. Uh, we, we're seeing a new world order now being built, a post-World War II world order. And I don't think America can retreat from that. I think we have to balance and adapt and adjust uh, to the realities and the currents of this new world order. But, but uh, we have a, a clear interest in a stable, secure world. Yeah, and but it's, it's not just that the <clears throat> secure world leads to economic stability, but it's also vice versa. You can't have one without the other. If America decides to forfeit its responsibilities that we have taken on since World War II, and I think they've been worth it, We've made mistakes. It's imperfect. But uh, then let's ask this question. The next great power, uh, will it use its power uh, as judiciously uh, and benevolently as America has used its power? Even though we've made mistakes, even though we've imposed ourselves, even though we struggle and, and stumble, we still do more for the good of the world. And yes, it's our interest. but. There's no country on earth that does as much for mankind as the United States does. Last point I'd make on this, you talk about an American exceptionalism. I believe that, but we don't need to go around the world and tell everybody that we're exceptional. I think every country, everybody, uh, their families, their backgrounds, their religions, their culture, they should be proud of that. And uh, they should believe in that. Uh, we are who we are. And I don't think we need to go tell people how great we are. People know that. Uh, People count on us, and I think that's why the world is paying so much attention to this presidential election. What is going to happen? Is America going to retreat from the world?